So, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Propol Plays, and today I'm gonna be, you know, just doing my usual, playing some Hollow Knight. Got some good ideas for how this episode's gonna go. So, yeah. Let's see. Oh, that was pain. Hope he hasn't respawned. Nope. So, as we can see if we... Wait, that's the wrong button. There we go. So we can see if you look on the map, there's City of Tears and Deep Nest. Now, as much as I dislike Deep Nest because it's pretty scary, I legitimately think that I might be able to clear the... What are they called? Um like the guardians or whatever, the guardian there. Let's see. So I guess I'll just head over as close to Deep Nest as possible, which would probably be around, there we go, around fungal wastes or something close to that area. Yeah, this seems like the best place. Oh. Oh, of course, I'm already there. That's why. Wait. Got to equip the, the compass. There we go. Perfect. Okay, I'm basically set. So. Got a good idea. Up here. Oh, dreamers. That's what they're called, I think. It's not guardians, it's dreamers. Oh, yeah, I can do this. Okay, so let um, in terms of stuff for the channel that I should probably announce, I was thinking of streaming just random games that I play every like Wednesday. So you know, it's should be should be enjoyable. It's really just a way for me to play games that I wouldn't otherwise make a huge series on. Plus, I want to at least experiment with the YouTube streaming and it's a perfect way for me to do it. So, you know, why not? Is this supposed to head up? No. Yes. Let's go. Next area, Deep Nest. Okay, so Deep Nest is freaky. And there's not a lot of benches. So let's see. No, that's that's not where I was gonna go. Man, it's been a little bit, um, I mean, I guess technically I'll, um, you guys might not even realize it, but, um, I've, de I've made a couple of videos that I haven't released quite yet, although it probably will be out by the time of this, this video is released because of, you know, how this is turned out, because I was on vacation for a week and that, <laughs> totally halted all my 
upload plans, but you know. Let's get to this bench. Yeah. Can I pogo bounce on you? No. Okay. Back we go. Okay, so let's try to make this one of my last times in Deep Nest because I do not super enjoy this place. Um, not that it's a bad area, it's one of the better regions, but like in terms of the actual ambience, it's just decently creepy. Which, again, is intentional, but it's definitely a game where you don't expect it to be... Oh, that was a close save. Like, I guess... I guess it's just a different ambience than, like, the more chill green path. Or even Crystal Peaks has sort of a vibe to it that's not overly scary. Just interesting. Okay, now I feel like there's something up here. Oh. Let's go. So I think if I just go straight. Oh. What on earth are you? Oh god. So, yeah, that's the other thing. Deep Nest is a decently hard region. Um, which, you know, don't get me wrong, it's challenges, fun and all, but definitely adds to a layer of brutality. Hopefully that's where I'm supposed to- oh, no, that's not where I'm supposed to go. Run. I guess I have to go up here then. Just sort of relying on my soul because I'm gonna be pushed back a decent way if I am killed. Not that it matters, because I'm more than halfway to where I need to go. So, while I don't want to jinx myself, I am at least hopeful. That was totally unintentional, but I'll take it. Up, oh, run. So I think I have to head more like up. There we go. If I remember correctly. Never mind. I do not know an efficient way to kill those things, so I'm just not gonna bother at the moment. Not that I couldn't, but I think I need a decent amount of soul. And not exactly looking forward to the prospects of using a bunch of it. Where, where am I now? Oh, great, I'm lost. Yeah, so I'm at a loss to ha with how to deal with those things, but you know, 
At least in those. Oh, found that stone. Stone sometimes equals people. And people equals moderate safety. Oh, well. Maybe not safety, but... Oh. Yeah, this place just seems to enjoy deconstructing my views as to what a level should be. Oh, have fun. I absolutely refuse to die here. I say as I die. Well, at least I've got a map. Not that that's any consolation. So it looks like if I go into the next area, I could drop down, which might be a little handy. Oh, and I missed my exit. How perfect. Where was I supposed to exit? Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Less beautiful. Last time I was here, I think I fought Nosk and then just sort of ran for the hills, which is a valid interpretation in my opinion. Yay, I have like 10 coins. Okay, perfect, so I've cleared some distance. And I think I've healed at least most of my health. Oh, how delightful. Yeah, and just when you think it's not, it can't get any worse, the... <laughs> these bugs that infest corpses come. Yo. I think if I draw this thing out... There we go. So, my dead body is in some random place. Never thought I'd say that. But, you know. I guess I'll just have to look for it, or not even bother. I forget how much geo I had, but I don't know if it's worth another minute here. Speaking of minutes here, what is... Okay, so going up here appears to be the path to follow. If I can get to the path in question. Oh, this is so creepy. Not a huge fan of spiders either. Like, sort of a spider themed area. Not exactly. Like, there's no um, exact. I guess there are sort of creepy crawly spider things and whatnot. Okay, so. Here's where I, I fell, and where I might fall again. Oh, 
Oh. Okay, so that's a little bit of health. Beautiful. Oh, that was really sad. Um, so I guess I'm in this place? Please say there's a bench. This looks too good to be true. I mean, I think there's a stag station somewhere. There we go. Thank the Lord. Oh, and the bench is broken, because of course it is. But what the heck, I'll insert Geo. I'm really excited for whenever they decide to release Silk Song. Cool. Because, personally, I think it seems quite awesome. Just like, even just the combat seems better. I'm also excited for, I think Elden Ring got... Wait a sec. Oh, I've trapped myself, haven't I? Okay, but anyways, I'm also excited for Elden Ring, because it looks, at the very least, interesting. Plus, the combat seems pretty entertaining and all the enemy design is truly awesome. Come on. How do I get out of this? Just shake? There we go. So this must be where the Hera the Beast lies. I think I remember this area. Okay, so I can cash that in for some coin if I get out of here alive. Not that it matters, because I think it just sucks me back to the beginning if I die. So, I'll try not to. And of course I don't have any map, so... I'm trying to think where to go next. Oh, you know, yeah. Oh, hi. Um. Oh, yeah. Guess I'll have to learn how to kill those things, because otherwise I'll be stuck here forever. Can I just go past you with, like, no? No! Okay. Let's... The issue is I can't get past its defense. So here's, here's my theory. So if I collect all the soul, Of which I have three recharges. Nope. 
That still does not do anything. Well, that's interesting. I think I did get at least a couple more hits in, so that's... That's interesting. Oh, and of course I've taken damage. At least I had an extra masker, too. And at least the death doesn't matter too much, because I don't have to track a long ways. Okay. So now I get the... Should have taken the Spell Twister ability, but no. There we go. That was a ridiculous amount of work that left me at one heart though. Two, three, okay, that's, if I run into another one of those things, I'm a goner, but what was down there? Oh, oh, was that a shortcut? How nice. This looks like an arena. Nope, it's just a, just looks like an extremely painful way to go. I do like how well you can collect like a couple of bars of health. It doesn't feel like so many other games where, you know, you're just sort of collect what, like 10 or or like, for example, in Jedi Fallen Order, when you collect health, it's... Like, yes, you can take maybe an extra hit, but... Most of the enemies will deal just... Maybe not random numbers, but they have so many different attacks... Where... Health as a number is much less the mistakes, the amount of mistakes you can make, and more... Just sort of a net to catch you if you make one. Whereas... In Hollow Knight, it's definitely more a game that... Oh. You're gonna be one of those demon ones, aren't you? Nope. How nice. But as I was saying, Hollow Knight is definitely one of those games where, instead of just giving you a mostly arbitrary number, like, you know, just... You have 200 health, whatever that means. Instead, it, like, actually says, you know, your masks are basically the amount of health you have. And, I mean, no, not basically, they are, but it's also the number of mistakes you can make. What is down here? Oh, okay. So that's, that's pretty brilliant. That's my, that's where my map is and all that stuff. Let's cast some soul spells or whatever. Oh yeah, so overcharmed is when you take extra damage. So I've got an idea. Mainly, so this is a dream shield. And my theory with it is that just theoretically, I might be able to keep those things at a distance and just slowly hit them with a dream shield. I'm talking real slowly. Oh, it's dead. Yeah, that seemed uh, a little bit more efficient. 
You know, I feel like the first time I went in this area, first time I played, this was 20 times harder. Okay, I'll enjoy killing you, because you made me go to Deep Nest. Oh yeah, the Dream Nail. So let's see. Ah! Ar the architect to my suffering. I also think that she's Hornet's mother. So, I guess that was a little mean, you know, killing her, but whatever. And yeah, that's, that's something. Guess I'll get out of this area, cause freak A. Oof. Oh, wait, wait a, that was a bench. Forgot about those things. And that basically is it for this episode. Um, you know, it's, it's nice, you know, just doing this. I'm pretty close to being finished, actually. Um, wait, no, that's the wrong button. Here, I keep on forgetting this button. I. Um, so I've just got one more Guardian Dreamer. That's what they're called, dreamers. And then go back to the Forgotten Crossroads and, you know, kill the final boss. Because, yeah. And then, yeah. I, that's basically going to be the series for, for now. So, next time I'll probably go into some of the areas near Deep Nest, like Ancient Basin get the double jump and then fight Monomon the Watcher or whatever. So, yeah. You know, thanks for watching. I'll be back.